Plus, I'm down until tomorrow. I was down to like six bucks in my checking account. So that's another reason why I didn't buy. Uh... Well, on, on Amazon, they're actual green screens. But I wouldn't even say actual green screens because they're really thin material. That's why they're so cheap. So you definitely can't have a light source behind them. Uh, but like Peck of Tans had like uh, fleece, like, you know, real thick green. So, hey, but we're not supposed to be talking about fabric. We're supposed to be getting into scary mode. About the Shambler, the unfortunate man mentioned before he died. That the unfortunate man. Unfortunate man being his wife. Or his her husband. All right, we got to go through this again. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband ties to Sarah Hawkins. Let me know how Can the uh, volumes are. You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings On me Saturday, me. Trevor? Very well. Look who's here. Abby's going somewhere on Saturday? You know each other. Our paths crossed briefly. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. Are you getting I any bump echo into or anything? Her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're it's investigating Francis' death. You mean Ireland? Why? Yeah, it's mine. Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well. Since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This Any way, Mr. Pierce. And do still make doing yourself the... comfortable. It's still this. Much to tell me. Oh, it's fixed. It's working good for you. Oh, awesome. Apparently, yeah, just fixed itself. Okay. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. That's weird. I wonder what went on. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. I wonder why it was so distorted yesterday. Please forgive my tone. Sorry I'm talking through this, guys, is that but I we have not watched been this last night. to see night, him so. since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger. But game volume You're able to, to see him. My even voice is pretty good. Pretty the balanced. day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? Uh, he died screaming. Not feel good. Yeah. What happened to your husband is terrible, Mrs. Sanders. But from what I saw, it was inevitable. The man I met yesterday had lost his reason. He suffers no longer, if you would allow me such a platitude. God damn. Of so course. it's one or the other for some odd reason. Thank you for your kind words. Nobody in that hospital would have deigned to speak them to me. However, it will require more than that to soothe my mind. I need to understand. How, how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes? I don't know what I can do, do about that, Trevor. Help? So, you, like, you can't read any of these options at all? It's terrible what happened to your husband, but I had nothing to do with it. I was injured, and I came across him in the hospital quite by chance. Injured? 
Well, I'm delighted to see you in such fine fettle, Detective. Not everybody enjoyed such a prompt recovery. <laughs> I suppose Fuller does do miracles now and again. Luck is obviously very kind to you. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself. If you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. Yeah. I For just my got part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. Yeah, I checked but mine so too. Mine's to the same it. way. Like Thank on my you, phone. Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Like once again, I was too busy texting and not reading. I'm not sure what I'm even supposed to do, but we'll figure it out. Figure it out. Maybe tomorrow we'll have good audio and... Did she really care for him after all? Acknowledge receipt of the letter in which you demand the body of your deceased husband. I'm sorry to inform you that I cannot agree to return his body to you. At the moment of his internment, you signed a discharge, allowing me to dispose of his body as I see fit. I extend my deepest condolences. <laughs> Interesting. I will. I'll get the Day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. A photograph of Sarah Hawkins next to the Shambler. More medicine, thank you very much. Well, I guess I have to do this. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler. Finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. Was she jealous of Sarah Hawkins? Looks to me like she's uh, a little jealous. Ah! More insanity. Oh, Jesus. The Shambler. I need to see it. Do you, though? Do you need to see it? Uh oh, we're gonna have a stealth. There's a cabinet. Books? 
Yes. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. Oh, a phonograph. Interesting. I wonder where we saw one of those. Irene, I made a mistake. I fear that it might be too late for me. Nobody should enter, except to burn everything. I never had the courage. Pay somebody to do it. He's inside my head. I see him behind my eyelids each time I shut my eyes. That it? I can't take oh. any more. <laughs> I can't hold him back. Forgive me. That accursed gallery. Those accursed paintings. That accursed Sarah. You're not giving. I see motive. I see opportunity. Maybe you're the one. Not helping your case very much. You are locked as well. Only makes sense. A strange Amerindian pendant. Wonder what its purpose could be. I'll just take that, I guess. I could use one of those. Woohoo! I found these sleeping pills in the Sanders house. Were they prescribed to Francis Sanders or to Irene? Hmm. I'll just steal their medication. I'll steal their jewelry. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. That is a little strange. A little... It's a little too wrath. Dear Francis, I beg you to give up all hope of ever owning this accursed painting. If our friendship has any meaning to you, please spare me the weight of guilt. I cannot be the architect of your fall. I beg you, my dear friend, forget the shambler. Your friend, Sarah Hawkins. It's not... An old diary. Diary of the Pastor's Wife, Volume 3. This volume spends some time on Reverend Wickwood's community. His wife expresses her worries about the strange dreams that the Reverend Congregation are having since their arrival on this island. Some members of the community, her husband included, began to speak of their visions as a messenger sent by God. She is scared that they will suffer the same fate as the lost tribe. I guess I'll just steal that too. Yeah. No big deal. Oh no! You never read a book in Cthulhu! We're gonna read the book. Malleus Bestiarium, or it is a kind of encyclopedia of monsters and unknown creatures. I'm beginning to believe that they exist. Ugh. Why did I do that? I'm going insane. Hello. It is the world work of a student in book form. Although the observations are relevant, they back they lack the expertise of an experienced physician. 
However, the questions asked allow us to imagine new ways of exploring human anatomy. New medicine, thank you very much. Okay, let's see what this bitch has to say. This woman, I'm sorry. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Nice. Some can be more fatal than others. Ooh. What have you come looking for in this gallery? I don't think that's going to pass. My eloquence isn't very high. Do you think I should try it? Should I try the... Well, who cares what she thinks? Yeah. I have a well-off client in Boston who heard about the death of Francis Sanders and wanted me to size up his estate before making an offer to his widow. Perfect, detective. The pretext? The body language? I would have bought it if it was the first time I'd seen your face. Ooh. You're a good talker, Pierce. Your story will do for the moment. And you? What brings you to the Sanders home? I'm here on business. Irene asked me to liquidate all these paintings. She doesn't intend to hang around here for long. Why you? Believe it or not, there aren't many collectors on Darkwater. It needs someone with oh. a network. Yeah, I'm sorry, and a means Trevor. of transport yep. to the mainland. A choice that comes down to Fitzroy and me. And I'm far more pleasant, wouldn't you say? I'll read them. Not now, sweetheart. I'd like to read this without some snoop looking over my shoulder. Yeah, I'd like to read you with... Wait, what? And you can't come in. Alright, let's take a look. Interesting. Alright. Hmm. Nice art gallery. Kind of a cool sphinx looking thing. I'm treating this with respect, just like I would an art gallery. Except for I'll probably steal these, because that's what I do. They didn't give me anything. I investigated it. Nice. Nice collection. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. These artifacts nope. date from pre-Columbian times. I thought he was going to let me steal it. Ugh. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery. Yes, this is very impressive. That's why I'm I'm giving the, the computer, you know, programmers. That's... What the hell? Kid wrestling a cockatrice? Or some sort of uh, choking to death a... Uh... You know, those bird... I can't... I can't think of basic words right now. Is that right? Riley? Or however you say it. The home of Cthulhu. I'll go to you in a second. There's more paintings. There's more stuff. Oh. The Sphinx is from NeverEnding Story. Why was he so interested in old weapons? It's the never-ending story. Oh, got to fill up my uh, lantern that I never use. I always just burn myself with my lighter. All right, here's where stuff gets weird, because there it is. Oh, got a clue first. Oh, more oil. So much oil. 
All right. Looks like Pink Floyd the wall. Great, another stealth. What the hell was that? Where is it? I don't even see it. Where's my little white? Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I just didn't see where it started, so we'll do better this time. Can't see it. Damn it. <laughs> Where am I supposed to go? Alright. So obviously going out that door isn't where I'm supposed to go. That's where I thought I had to go. What the hell was that?
Do you notice anywhere else I could go? Anybody? Because that main door... That's what I, I mean, that's why I just kind of, I, that's why I just kind of looked around and I didn't see any of the glass, of course. Yeah, maybe I can use this dagger. Oh, oh give me a give me a second to try to figure it out. Yeah, I mean, it is pretty linear. What the hell was that? Oh, I bet you I probably have to go stab the painting since that's where it came from. I'm going to go give that a shot. Damn. Maybe I can use this dagger. Bitch. That's what I have to do, though, I think. I just didn't, uh, I didn't give him enough room to, didn't give myself enough time to. What the hell was that? That maybe I can use this dagger. One. 
Okay, what else could I do? You gotta be kidding me. all the daggers in that room. Nope, I guess I got this one still. Oh god, this room's full of daggers too. Okay, now that I know what to do, Trevor, which knife is it? It's just to save us time.
deadly, like I said, that literally, the way I would have went about it, that literally would have been the last one that I would have picked. You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? Sanders was right. This painting is cursed. What are you talking about? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so, too. Increase my volume a little bit? All right. I am tainted. I have a faint taint about me. All right, let's see how that did. You didn't hear anything? You knew about the monster? You must have noticed the state of my arm. Yeah, just cut your arm off. <laughs> You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me. Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it. From what I saw in the ledgers, it was him who sold it to Sanders. And you give me this information for your charge? I really should talk to this Drake. Yeah, let's see what she's up to. It's not your style to give me free information like that. Take it as payment for being my canary. A simple trade-off. Now go see your antique seller. I still got things to settle with Irene. <laughs> I'm out of here. <laughs> 